in this section we'll be talking about augmented images and then we'll build an AR app that can detect an image and render a renderable object based on the detected image. Specifically, we'll go through an overview of augmented images, how to build an image database, the command line AR Core IMG tool, and then we'll finish the section by building a sample app that detects a picture of a piano and then shows a web view that lists some videos about playing pianos. So in this video, let's start by going through an overview of augmented images. So what is an augmented image? How does it work? And what are the use cases that are very useful in the modern world? So before we dive into it, let's take a look at the image shown and how a product carton is detected and an interactive object is superimposed on the carton. And the user, as we can see on the device, is looking through the device screen, uh, through the AR view, to look at the superimposed interactive object. So to get a better feel, let's take a look at a video Google also made. So here is the video, and we can see a poster on the wall, and the poster has been detected by the AR app, and then the the poster is being transformed into a 3D version of what's in the poster. And we can see you can move around the 3D object that has been superimposed on the poster. And uh, it, it gives this realism. So let's get started. Augmented images. So augmented images in AR Core basically lets you build apps that can respond to 2D images such as posters or products packaging like we saw in the other image in the user's environment. So the way it works is you basically provide a set of reference images and then AR code tracking tells you where those images are physically located in an AR session once they are detected in the camera view. So each image database that you create can store feature points information for up to 1000 reference images. So AR Core can track up to 20 images simultaneously, which means it can track like two different images together, but it cannot track multiple instances of the same image. The other thing is once tracked, AR Core provides estimates for position, orientation, and physical size of the image detected and these estimates are continuously refined as AR Core gathers more data. So also all the tracking happens on the device, no internet connection is required. Uh, depending on your app, you can create a system where the reference images can be updated on the device over the network without requiring a full app update. So AR Core can track up to 20 images simultaneously but it cannot track multiple instances of the same image. Once tracked, it gives you information to like help you to render whatever you want to render in reference to the detected image. So the size and position of a track image can then be used to render an object and for example rendering a 3D object on a wall painting or newspaper page. So the popular use cases right now, teaching and learning in education. You can imagine a case where a student in a classroom points the AR core supported device on a chemistry test book and it transformed the atoms in the test book to a 3D model and they can see the electron moving around the nucleus. So indoor and outdoor advertising, you can think of a case where someone is walking by, they see an advert, they pull out their phone and they open the brand app and they can interact with the advertising outdoor or indoor. Same with art installations, interactive gaming, medical training, entertainment, and so on. The list is endless. It depends on how creative you are. You can come up with endless possibilities of what you can do with this wonderful technology that AR Core is giving us. 